You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Oh, hi, Mark. Okay, now that I have that out of my system. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the room. No, not the movie, but the game. This is a puzzle game from Fireproof Studios. It was originally released in 2012 for iOS, and now it's just been released for Windows in a new and improved form. I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Let's begin in just a second, but before that, let's play with this little flippy thing on the door. Wee New game. Alright, so I've already played it for about 15 minutes, so I don't need to learn the mechanics through this tutorial. So I can just kind of ignore the tutorial stuff and just focus on the story stuff and try to get through it as fast as possible. The tutorial does introduce the story, though, so I can't just skip it without, you know, losing coherence of the story. But I do want to mention what interested me about this game, because it's not typically something I'm interested in. I'm not really into puzzle, puzzle games for the most part. Uh, but what I really like about it is that it's, it's sort of like a single-room, hyper-detailed kind of puzzle game. You know, it doesn't have extensive environments, it has really just one environment. But you deal with hyper-detailed objects, you can really zoom in on them, and they look beautiful, and there's a lot of interactivity, too. Like, for example, right now, it's telling me to uh, click on the envelope. And you can just move stuff around. Move stuff in and out and in and out and in and out. Okay, this is sounding euphemistic, but uh, <laughs> you can really move stuff around, and there's a lot of interactivity. And uh, that's something I've always liked in games, you know, like Amnesia the Dark Descent. Opening doors and drawers and stuff like that. It's just really satisfying. Alright. So this is the introduction to what's happening. The flimsy reason for why I'm here solving puzzles. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are just inside this box. Along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence. And it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Alright, let's take this key. Small key with an animal motif. Very pretty. Yeah, everything in this game is very, very pretty. Just gorgeous. Alright. So you can move this around as much as you want. If you line it up the keyhole, it opens up. And we put the key inside. And we even get to turn it. That's a really satisfying thing. Uh, there's something really satisfying about this. You know, you don't just use a key on, on something and it just magically opens. You have to actually turn it. And it's just really satisfying. To do little actions like that. And, you know, opening the lid yourself, for example. Very cool. The graphics are just gorgeous. Alright, so this is an eyepiece. A curious eyepiece. It doesn't do anything. Perhaps something's missing. What does the note say? Yeah, so this, uh... Yeah, without a lens, it's just an ordinary eyepiece, so it's missing anything special in it. Alright. The, uh, handwriting here is nigh on incomprehensible towards the end, but, uh, I managed to figure it out somehow. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. I'm uh, pretty sure some of those aren't even letters. But also, I'm just bad at reading kind of squiggly handwriting. Alright, you'll find the answer somewhere on the safe. Indeed you will. So, I know where the answer is, of course, but let's just take a look around. Just look at how detailed this is. Look at the emblem. Bespoke uh, safes for the gentry. Guildford, England. The world-renowned talisman. Established in 1807. Guaranteed thief and fireproof. Just gorgeous. 
It's a little keyhole here, too. A strangely shaped keyhole. And you might notice the feet. I'll have different elements. So it's earth. There's water, air, and fire. Which, as it turns out, is the answer. So back to the riddle. Feed me and I shall survive. You know, feed a fire with wood or something like that. Give me drink and I shall die. Put liquid on a fire and it burns out. Actually, I guess burn out probably isn't the right term, is it? You know what I mean. So let's go to fire. And let's press it. Bingo! A peculiar old key. Alright. And some inventory objects can actually be manipulated themselves. So this one has a tip that can change. Into different shapes. And what strange shapes they are. Hmm. A peculiar key shape for a peculiar keyhole, perhaps? A peculiar keyhole such as... This one? Yes. Hello? An ornately engraved metal plate? The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Okay, so if you noticed, on this little emblem thing here, there is this. I might be able to unscrew this if I had something to grip it with. There we go. Hello there. It's a lens. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what's in this box, but I'm guessing this... You know what? Maybe this is Pandora's box. Maybe this is Pandora's box. And I'm opening it piece by piece. Totally safe thing to do, right? Creepy as hell. Look, there's even, like, smudge marks on it. Wonder if that could be blood. It looks like it's sitting in this circ inside of some sort of a like ritual circle. I don't know, it's weird. In fact, there's even some writing behind the box if you can see it. See that back there on the walls? Yeah. Okay, so we have another keyhole in the front. Of course, we only have one key, but remember, we can change the shape of the key, so let's go back to this one. These seem to rotate, but there are no markings to show the correct position. I need to look elsewhere. So if we look through our lens, we can see some markings. So let's go ahead and line them up. There's the first one. I think that's the second one. And... There we go. It is now open. Well, not quite yet. Now it's open. Well, well. Let's take it out for a closer look. Chapter complete. Alright, so there's the tutorial mission. So now we move on to another object. It's like a... a Russian doll sort of thing, I suppose, getting smaller and smaller as we dig inside. There's something very exciting about that. And these three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. It's locked up tight, there must be a way to get into it. Okay, so I've played a little bit further than this. So I know a little bit. Let's take a look around at what we have. Alright, need a key for this, obviously. I have nothing in my inventory. What's this? Okay, four letters. And looks like I can input whatever I've entered here with this button. If it's correct, I'm guessing. Alright. 
Alright, looks like this is probably a panel that would open. If I got this correct. So these are a bunch of symbols. That I can also flip around, just like the letters. And if you notice, there are symbols, like this, around various parts. There's one here. There's one up here. So we'll get back to that later. Here's another one. A circular indentation that uh, doesn't look so much like a keyhole as it is more like a... I don't know, a, a rod hole? Something like that. And uh, let's see if the symbol matches up what's up front, actually. Gear. Yeah, there is a gear, so maybe if I solve the gear part over there, it'll solve it here. Or something. Yeah, and this one's got the eye, which is also here. It's another panel. Yeah, you can look at me, I can look at you too, huh? 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 What are you gonna do? Oh, you're, you're just gonna keep looking at me because you're an inanimate engraving or painting on a box? Okay, fine. This one's got four numbers. So we have four symbols, four numbers, four letters. So, where to start? Well, there is this. You might notice that something looks a little bit off here. And that's for good reason, because there's a book inside of here. An ancient leather-bound book. The cover seems very ornate. Yep, even the book itself is a puzzle. It's a beautiful book, though, isn't it? Alright, let's open this thing. So, I need to get this thing turned around here, so I need to free up everything else so I can fit that. So I think we need to do... this... Yeah, there we go. Little key thing here. A key, it looks like it's for winding up clockwork. Alright, let's see what this says. It's a little bit hard for me to read, but I'll do my best. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all. But there is something there. Between earth and fire. Between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object. Like the shadow of the object without substance. Yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element, null. It brings meaning to the rest, and just as all the numbers of the world are me are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of... Uh, I'm not sure what that says. Shallow gold? It is the pursuit of this. So this is a very old book. Hmm. Null. Null. I talk about this. Um, there's something there between earth and fire, between water and air. That's the elements I saw at the, the feet of the box. And given what I saw using my lens. Oh, there's another symbol. Yeah, given what I saw using my lens. I am really starting to believe this is like Pandora's box or something. And what is that, like, heart beating noise? It's disquieting. I don't like it. Alright, well, this thing... Honestly, looks like it would go into here. I mean, that's a square. And this is a square. But last time I tried to use it, it didn't work. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't work. And I'm honestly not sure why, because it really seems like it's supposed to. But anyway, there's something else I did. Which was solve... 
this because we have all the symbols we need. So let's look for the first one. Whoops. Wait, what is this? Oh, whoa. <laughs> I just accidentally clicked in this area and just discovered this. Uh, hi. What, what's in there? What are you hiding in there? What is that? A miniature telescope. Huh. Sweet. I, uh, never clicked that before. Whoa. Okay. This thing can also be messed around with. Whoop. Uh, what? I guess I opened it. God, the thing is beautiful, isn't it? Alright, so now it's extended. Cool. Uh, I'm guessing that's related to the eye. That random, like, heart beating noise really is disturbing. Anyway, back to what I was doing. So yeah, we have these four symbols, so let's look for the first one. Alright, so this is the first one. Obviously that's first, second, third, fourth. Each one only shows you one at a time, so this one is the... ...cubular, blobular thing with the stick sticking out of the top. That's the official term, of course. There we go. Number two is... that thing. The squirrely thing with the cross on top. Oh, I think it's already on it, isn't it? Unless there's another squirrely thing with a cross on top. Nope, just one. Okay, number three is... no, not there. Uh... Well, that's number four, is the crown. I've totally forgotten where number three is. One. Two. Oh, I haven't actually seen it yet. That's why. It, yeah, I forgot. It's in here. So if you use the, the eye thing, you can actually see through this weird panel. Yeah, and the final one is here. It's the... Uh, lizard thing. There we go. A heavy cast iron key. Okay, so this is the extent of what I've accomplished so far. So everything else from here on out is completely new ground. So progress is probably going to be a lot slower. Alright, see what we got here. Yep. Old strong key. I guess I should just try it in everything I can. Doesn't seem to work, although perhaps I need to get this right before it would actually work. I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to fit in there. No way. There's no keyhole. There's no keyhole on this one either. Well, I have determined that it is useless. Just throw it in the trash. Garbage. Okay, well... I, uh... Wait, what about the tip? Nah, nothing up there. What about this? That's not another thing I can unscrew? Gotta look for small details. Okay, well, I think I can solve this. So this requires four numbers. So if we look inside here, you can see there's actually a bunch of numbers around here, but they're kind of fragmented. But if you look at them from just the right angle, I notice they seem to form numbers. Like, there's a two. So let's try that. Um... Let's see, uh... Now, how are they oriented? Is it like... 
One, one on top, one on left, one on right, one on bottom. I think it is. Okay, so... Let's see. So the one on the left is five. I'm just gonna write that down. Five. Okay. The one on top seems to be two. The one on the right is obviously seven. Hmm. And what about the bottom one? I don't actually have to know the bottom one, because if I get the others right, I can just flick through all the possible selections for the next one. Is that like a seven? Not really. Oh, there we go. Six? Yeah, six. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, five. Two. Would have been faster to go the other way, but whatever. And six. That feels good. Now, what is that? Ooh, hello. Looks like it's waiting for a lens. I think we're about to watch a movie. So let's flick this little switch, didn't I? Yep. This thing is gorgeous. I think it's so close to it. It still looks beautiful. It's in this little... This little thing here. Can I open it? No, apparently not. Alright, well, let's set the lens here. Beautiful. Beautiful shining beacon of beautifulness. Okay, um, how do we turn it on? Oh. Okay, so we got like a, a flint thing here, I guess I need to... Oh, it's steam powered, isn't it? So we gotta light a, light a fire and put coal inside of it. Okay, I can do this. It smells of burning. Well, it should. I'm trying to start a fire here, come on. Eh. Eh. No, to be honest, I, I honestly have no idea why you'd have this sort of a system in a projector thing. I, I have no idea. This technology is too old for me. I have no idea what this is. Put a key in it. Put a thing in it. Wind it up. Actually, the wind-up is probably for this, isn't it? N well, no, if it had a wind-up, then why would it need this? I don't know. Let's go play over here. Oh, that's right, nothing opens here. Anything special to see with the special lens? What's this? Open up. Hello. This looks like the winding mechanism, but there should be some sort of a key. Okay. There we go. Oh. Is that all this needed? Wait a minute, what's this? That's the same symbol that was on the note, the, uh, the letter. That I got from the dude that gave me the key. Wait. Isn't that the same thing I read in the book? Yeah, that's the same thing I read in the book. Why is that here too? Was it just to make sure you don't miss it? Hmm. 
Anyway. Alright, we'll see if this works now. Nope, still smells of burning. I can't seem to, like, press this or rotate this thing. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what this is about. This is so weird. Is that the... That's the light, isn't it? That's the, that's the light to project the image, isn't it? There's a light behind this thing that has the film. Or the, the pictures or whatever. And then the light, you know, projects the image through the lens. It doesn't have a bulb, it, ha it has a fire. Of some sort. Okay, so what's supposed to be coming out of here? Is it, is it gas-powered? I mean, it's obviously not like a wood, like a freaking wood fire or something. It's got to be more controlled than that if you want an even half decent image. Hmm. I wonder if I'm missing something for that. Okay, so I still have this key and I don't know what to do with it. I think I've tried putting it at everything. There's also this, also this star up here. No, no, not here. Here. But that is not a keyhole. That's for sure. Something else up here except this. Okay, so once again, this needs four letters. I do not have those four letters, unless it's perhaps what's inside of the note. This has been solved. I don't know what's up with this. That's not something to click on. That's been solved. I wonder what this is about. Like, what is this? Can't open it. Can't flip it open. Or rotate it. And surprisingly, despite the fact that I can see a latch back there, I can't open this either. Whoa, what the... Huh? What is this? I didn't even... <laughs> oh my god, it's adorable! I didn't even realize I could click on that. That was a complete accident. Um, any of the other ones? It's a tiny little scroll. <gasps> Come here. A short piece of cotton. It smells of paraffin. Oh, there we go. That's what I need for the fire. Look at it. It's so cute. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let me see that. Wait a minute. Whoa. The camera, the camera just went inside of the thing. I, I think I saw some objects in there. But no, that's not what I wanted to look at. Uh, I want to look at... The object from the side. I'm suspicious about something. Anyway, uh, I'm suspicious about I, the fact that I think this doesn't actually have anisotropic filtering. I know that's a weird thing to mention, but uh, I don't think it does. Yeah. Yeah, the textures are kind of blurry when you look at them from the from the side like this. Anyway, it's still a ridiculously gorgeous game, and well, I could just force that through the control panel if I wanted to. Okay, let's get you started. Oh yeah. Ooh, what's that? 
Ah, I gotta move it up behind the window. Okay, so now we should get an image, right? Right? A a anything? No? Oh, here we go. Well, that's creepy as shit, what the hell? I get the feeling there's more to more to that than I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Hold on. Triya? What's the last is is that a letter? Try oh trial. Yeah, there's an L. Oh. Hello? Why did that open? Hmm. Okay, so... There's... Two sets of symbols. Uh, do I need to put it into a way... In such a way that it's aligned in both places? So, let's see. This one is aligned... Yeah, this ring is already aligned with the inner one. But these two are not. Let's see. So if I did that... Like, this one looks fine there. But it's not fine there. Hmm. Okay. I think I get it. So this one needs to be in the right spot. Which is... Yeah. And now this one needs to be in the right spot. Which is... Uh, it looks right. Except these are horns, so I suppose I suppose they're supposed to be on the top, aren't they? There we go. Now it opens. Oh, it's a little L. Come with me. A brass plate with a letter L. L. La plate. Okay, well, I'm gonna need quite a few more than just that. Yarr, I'm a pirate. Um. Or mi oh, this isn't a button. That's a mi the missing one. Yeah. I guess I just spell trial. Obviously, it has to end in L since that do that one doesn't move. Bingo! One of the seals opened. Two more and I'll be in. Ah. Another piece of the puzzle reveals itself. Oh, this thing moves. Okay, whoa. This thing is so cool. Look at this. This box must have been so fun to design to whoever made it. Alright, well there's a note. Let's take a look at the note first. Once again, the same symbol. Okay, different diary. Uh, the previous one was... What's this? 2-7. Why does that say 2-7? That can't be the month. Because May is the fifth month. So the nor the the two nor the seven could possibly be the month. And the last one said like one something. Uh oh wait, where where'd the book go? Uh 
Can I not read the book anymore? It's not my inventory. I guess we're not going to read the book. Anyway. May 8th. McAllister returns with the rub rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans call the null element space. To the Hindus, it is ether. And now, to the Babylonians, it is simply... What the hell is that? Is that up? Is that a U and a P? I can't tell. The other direction. The realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. The same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is idle superstition at work? When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognize me then. Presently, the skeptics have, have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. Okay, so it sounds like he's trying to figure out some grand mystery. He's trying to figure this stuff out, and... I guess people were not believing him. The hexagonal glyph. That's probably going to be relevant. Alright, what's going on with this? It's a safe dial, but there's a piece missing. Is there? I suppose the numbers on the front are missing? Alright, so probably not supposed to mess with that yet. Ooh, this looks like uh, it's relevant to the key. It's the right shape, but the hole isn't tall enough. If I can move this stuff, no. Open sesame. No, this thing needs to be unlocked first. Okay, maybe this one. No. Fine. I'm never going to get to use this key. This thing obviously swings open. Alright, let's take a look at the top. What is going on here? Hello! And these are the same symbols that I saw on the feet of the thing. The uh, water, wind, and earth and all that. Oh, it moves depending on where I'm looking? Okay, so I can't manipulate them directly. Yeah, all I can do is move my view. Hmm. And this only affects these two, not these two. Why is that? It's weird, but uh, anyway, there's this thing. Now, I know I grabbed this before. Oh, come on, I know I grabbed this. This little thing right here. Which perspective did I grab it from? I thought it was this one. Maybe I actually already opened it accidentally and just didn't realize that I completed the action. I'm not sure, because it doesn't seem to move anymore, which makes me think I've, I've finished it. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I'd be able to move it from here, right? It's right there in my view. But I can't. Yeah, I guess I did it. Alright, so what is this about? 
Given that these two are facing up, I'm assuming I need to find the right angle so that these two are also facing up. Is that even possible? Whoa. I guess I got one? How? I don't even know. Okay, almost got it. Uh, uh, there we go. Hello. It's the hexagonal symbol. The hexagonal symbolium. Ah, and this is the same shimmering look that the other panel had when I was able to look through it. So, I'm guessing... Yep. Pretty. Look at this from the right angle and it assembles something. Just like the other one. Perhaps. Ah, look at that. Yep, there we go. Hexagonal symbol. Whoa. Metamorphosized. A keyhole. Okay, is this what the key is finally for? Thank God. Holy shit, that thing is huge! I didn't realize how big that was. Ah, I see. That opens this up. Cool, what's in here? Another key. A small cabinet key. It is indeed a small key. Could be for this. So it is. Ah, that's for the star up top. An enameled brass star. Whoa. Whoa, that changed. Hello. Okay. Open up the whole top. June 21st. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I've done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Hmm. The null element, how it refracts the, the light. That's gotta be related to my lens, right? And the fact that I'm seeing these strange things through the lens. It's gotta be. Hello. I feel like I should be able to move your axe or something. But I can't. Mace? Hi. Hmm. It's got a shaded side. Oh, that's for the, uh, the safe dial thing. Brass ring with markings around the edge. Hmm. Sounds gold. You are suspicious because you stand out. That's what you get for being different. It's not related to it, is it? Because it's kind of the same color. Does it do something? Doesn't seem to. Wait a minute, what? Oh, it's just a shield on its back, isn't it? It's very colorful, though. That shield. Oh, whoops. I kind of want it. Yeah, what does it actually do? Ta 
I have no idea. There we go. Hmm, how does this work? Oh, it's a uh, elimination sort of thing. I do notice there's a couple notches up here. There's one notch here and two notches here. That could just be a starter hint telling you to go in that order for the first two. You know, first and second. And then I think I just need to do trial and error for the rest. So, one, two, three. Four. Five. Oh, I got it. Huh. That wasn't too hard. Okay, two numbers. Two numbers. Well, hell, that'd be easy enough to just solve by trial and error. But uh, he did say take note of this date, which I'm guessing is relevant. Okay, June 21st. So, 21? 3 7? I really don't get this, this 3 7 down here. That means note 3 of 7, doesn't it? It's gotta be note 3 of 7, that's not the date. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, 21st? I mean, that's not really the date, that's the day, but... We'll try it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. It's gotta be the date. It's gotta be. Okay, so if it's not 21st, then... June? The sixth month? So... 06? Oh, well, there's no six. <laughs> well, what the hell? Okay. Hmm. Of all the puzzles to get stumped on, I get stumped on this one. I see you up there. It's saying, do you want a hint? Do you want a hint? I can help you. No, I don't want a hint. I do want to know what this thing is, though. Maybe you wind it up? No, it's stupid. Have I seen anything related to it? So it's a bunch of squares. Squares within squares. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything related to it. Perhaps its meaning will become clearer later. Alright, am I just failing at reading this note? June 21st. Take note of this date. The date is the 21st of June. But there's only room for th two numbers. And June is the sixth month, which isn't even on here. So it's got to be 21, but I just tried that and it didn't work. Let's do it backwards. 2-1. No. Honestly, I could do trial and error so easily for this. It's only two numbers. It'd be so easy. But I really want to solve it properly. I'm not, like, missing something else I can move, am I? I don't think that's it. It's so easy to do trial and error. 
In fact, I just went through over one-fifth of the permutations right there. Actually, one-sixth. Never mind. Gotta include zero. I don't get it. I mean, it's gotta be the date, right? It's asking for two numbers. And this says, take note of this date. Alright, I'm gonna think about it. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not sure what the solution is, but I think I'm going to sleep on it. We'll see if I can find the answer in my dreams or something like that. Maybe I'll have dreams about opening a box and maybe monsters will pour out of it, clawing their way out of the dark void from within. More and more of them until they take over the earth. Oh, by the way, before I go, I did notice something, and that's that this soldier here does not have a weapon, whereas all the other ones do. Which I don't think matters yet, but I'm guessing at some point I'm going to find a miniature weapon and I probably have to put it into his hands. Or something of the sort. Okay, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have enjoyed this quite a bit. This is a really fun game. I like it. I like it a lot. So I hope, you, hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. Oh, okay, I was just about to close out of the game, and I thought, hey, hey, what about my lens? I haven't been using my lens very much. Guess what? There it is. Two? And then up here? Five. But, I'm going to save entering that for the next episode, so cliffhanger!